Sorry. Travis, did you over CBD cocktail last night? No. no. It's, my, it's, it's all my fault. Oh. Completely right. and totally my fault. All right. Well, You're fired. Yes, I am. All right. I, I, I'll, I'll remove myself from the situation. You are rehired. No, don't as, leave. Don't as, leave. Don't leave. I don't want to push no the buttons. there is no one else to run the board. <laughs> so you are quickly <laughs> totally, rehired. Okay. I apologize heartily. No, I, I apologize heartily because that's totally my fault. <laughs> okay. Well, I am, let me just say, shocked. Shocked, I tell you, that uh, uh, the Russian gambling is going on. Oh, yeah? My box is too hot. Thank uh, you. Well. You're, I don't know what's going on with you this morning, but God made you pretty, and that's the important thing. That's because I use GenuCell. Your, your box has been hot for a while, Steph. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, I was going to say, shocked, shocked that apparently uh, Russia has not been pulling back troops. So no. you mean what you're saying is they, they lied? You're a lying sack of crap. You're saying that Putin... You're a lying sack of crap. You're a lying, scheming, stinking, nasty sack oh, no of wonder. liquid crap. He and Trump were such lovers. Just great big autocratic liars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Malcolm Nance will report is live. He's still in, in Ukraine. U- in Ukraine. So, which yeah. makes me a little nervous, quite honestly. But he, he, is, he is supposed yeah. to return, I believe, um, on Friday. Right. Okay. I'm not sure it's going to be the hottest of wars, though. Well, I don't. Who knows what's going to happen? Oh, yeah. So, uh, do we have any Bidens just so we could? Um, I'm getting them right now. Okay. I'm getting them right now. All right. <laughs> was he was he in the gym lifting things, Travis? You can rat him out. Was what? that what he was doing? Was he in there? Yes, lifting Stephanie. Things, heavy things. He's getting a stress out. This is a stressful this job. This is very stressful. This is very, very stressful, and he needs oh, to lift okay. and throw heavy things. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. The president. Oh, God. Okay. Or not. All right. Hey, this is going well so far. Send this directly to the Smithsonian. You want, me, you want me to get something heavy to throw, Chris? There's like a 25 dumbbell in there. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. As long as there is hope of diplomatic resolution that prevents the use of force and avoids incredible human suffering that would follow, we will pursue it. The Russian Defense Minister reported today that some military units are leaving their positions near Ukraine. That would be good, but we have not yet verified that. We have not yet verified the Russian military units are returning to their home bases. Indeed, our analysts indicate that they remain very much in a threatening position. Um, first of all, Again, refreshing to have a, a stance towards Putin that is not Trump's stance, which is Helsinki handsies and Belarus blowsies. Oh, okay. So that's a yes. refreshing change already. But can I just say a lot of people commenting on what I've said on Twitter. Uh, Paul tweets, so far exposing Kremlin false flag plans and keeping all eyes on Putin seems to be an effective tactic for countering hybrid warfare. We're seeing a new playbook develop before our eyes. Um, someone else tweeted, I got to say, disclosing legit false flag intelligence in real time is a tactic Russia appears to not be prepared to deal with. Remember, I used to be trust but verify mm-hmm. our policy. I think we can get rid of the trust part now. Just verify. We can just skip. Yeah, just, ver- yeah. just skip to verify because, yeah, because he's a lying rat bastard, murderous thug. Okay, just now that we have that out of our way. Uh, the president said he's ready with diplomacy to engage in diplomacy with Russia, but warned the U.S. is ready to take all necessary measures to repel any Russian moves into Ukraine. Mm-hmm. Uh, he warned U.S. will not be able to willing to sacrifice basic principles, adding nations that have a right to nations have a right to sovereignty and territorial integrity. Uh, the president again yesterday. While I will not send American servicemen to fight in Ukraine. We have supplied the Ukrainian military with equipment to help them defend themselves. We provided training and advice and intelligence for the same purpose. And make no mistake, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. An attack against one NATO country is an attack against all of us. And the United States commitment to Article 5 is sacrosanct. Um. That is the other huge change, is he has strengthened NATO. NATO yes. was un, in disarray because of, you know, Cittolini before he left. Yes. So he said, let me be equally clear about what we're not doing. The United States and NATO are not a threat to Russia. Ukraine is not threatening Russia. World War II was a war of necessity. If Russia attacks Ukraine, it would be a war of choice or a war without cause or reason. Um, I think it is brilliant the way he's putting a giant spotlight on all of this, mm-hmm. including our intelligence. Uh, the president, one more. The United States and NATO are not a threat to Russia. Ukraine oh, sorry, is not I just threatening said that. Russia. I just said that. Okay. <clears throat> Neither the U.S. nor NATO have missiles in Ukraine. We do not, do not have plans to put them there as well. We're not targeting the people of Russia. We do not seek to destabilize Russia. To the citizens of Russia, you are not our enemy. 
and I do not believe you want a bloody, destructive war against Ukraine, a country and a people with whom you share such deep ties of family, history, and culture. General Petraeus was saying that, too, that that part was brilliant, speaking directly to the yes. Russian people. He said an attack. This is something you didn't hear from Donald Trump. An attack against one NATO country is an attack against all of us. Mm-hmm. That is a deterrent. Yeah. I, someone was saying, how much? if Trump had won, he would have already helped Putin take care of because he was pissed at, at Zelensky for not helping him yes. during the 2020 election. Yes. Everything he does is petty and vindictive. And, Transactional. You know, and also, right, with Putin. I, I'm just concerned that the people of Russia maybe didn't hear that. Right. Because Putin, right. He said, Putin let it, controls the, the media, media so fiercely right. over there. Right. One last one, the president yesterday. But if Russia attacks Ukraine, it would be a war of choice or a war without cause or reason. I say these things not to provoke, but to speak the truth. Because the truth matters. Accountability matters. If Russia does invade in the days and weeks ahead, the human cost for Ukraine will be immense. And the strategic cost for Russia will also be immense. If Russia attacks Ukraine, it will be met with overwhelming international condemnation. The world will not forget that Russia chose needless death and destruction. Invading Ukraine will prove to be a self-inflicted wound. Yeah, he said, let there be no doubt if Russia commits this breach by invading Ukraine, responsible nations around the world will not hesitate to respond. We do not stand for freedom where it is risk today. We do not stand for freedom where it is at risk today. We'll pay a steeper price tomorrow. Yeah. Um, oh, God, we have at least a real president. That's, you know, just saying. Thank God. Okay. Um, Senator Menendez, real quick on uh, the, the situation, and then we will I go. I hope yeah. that the intense diplomacy that has been taking place between the United States and our allies and the threat of uh, overwhelming sanctions that would have crippling effects on the Russian economy and on Putin himself uh, would ultimately uh, lead and may ultimately lead to some type of diplomatic initiative. One more, Senator Mel- uh, Melendez. Well, I've got to give uh, enormous credit to the Biden administration uh, using its intelligence and being able to declassify it in a way that has outed uh, the Russians in each of these false flag attempts. Uh, And so uh, actually uh, we have, I think, up to this point, outflanked them in terms of having any pretext of an excuse. There, There is no excuse here. There is no aggression by Ukraine. Yep. And one more, Senator Menendez. You know, you see Russian television talking about some type uh, of, uh, you know, uh, 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 mass genocide in Ukraine, falsely, of course. Uh, So it is constantly trying to create the set of circumstances in which it can have the alleged provocation. But there is no such thing. The world will see it if Putin crosses into Ukraine's territory. It will be his aggression. And the one thing. Uh, that no matter what happens, whether there's diplomacy or whether there's an invasion that Putin will have learned, is that uh, the West is more unified than ever before. Thank you. And uh, the other thing Putin counts on is that he has an entire party here and network that will do his talking points, Mm -hmm. right? I mean, this is what Trump has left us, Mm -hmm. is a party of traitors just like him, right? I mean, they didn't show up, they they scream about inflation, they didn't even show up to... to, uh, confirm fed nominees yesterday to right. help inflation right yeah. there's they're rooting for a convoy to come disrupt our roads and supply mm-hmm. chain because they're anti-american right well also what we're seeing too is what putin is doing is the exact same thing that trump was doing yeah. he wants the appearance of something to give him a reason to do something i want the yeah. appearance of impropriety with hunter biden so we can have these investigations yeah. to trash joe yeah. biden he's putin is just yeah. wants just the say appe- the election yeah. was corrupt here my friends in congress and i will take care of the rest makes you wonder where trump got that idea yeah it's weird Hmm. Um, yes, right on cue. U.S. intelligence officials claim a popular conservative financial website published articles created by Moscow-controlled media and spread it to unaware Americans, amplifying Russian propaganda. Yeah. I mean, I, when R- Russia TV, RT, uses Tucker Carlson clips on their air, mm-hmm. something has really gone awry in this country. Yep. Then you can count on them to take Putin's side, whatever side is against America and against President Biden. It's just, it's, okay. I just thought, yeah, Senator Tina Smith said, not a single Republican showed up to vote on Fed nominees. It's almost like they don't want to do anything about inflation. Um, Chris Murphy said the same same thing. GOP playbook. Step one, beat Biden over the head on inflation. Step two, refuse to confirm anyone to fight inflation. Yeah. I just, it was a smorgasbord of anti-Americanism yesterday.